Hi, I'm Brent Johnson, and today we're at the University at Buffalo. We are in Slee Concert Hall, uh, home to Fisk's Opus 95. With me is Roland Martin. You're the teacher here, at yes. Professor of Organ. Right. Um, uh, tell me about this instrument. When was it installed? It was installed uh, in 1990 and 91, uh, and uh, dedicated in, I believe it was April of 91. Uh, in sort of a, a big joint concert. So there were three of us teaching organ here at the time, and uh, we each did a portion of the program. The university choir sang on the program. Uh, I think the percussion ensemble as well uh, did the program <laughs> with the, they uh, did a movement of the Harrison uh, Concerto for yeah, Organ and yeah. Percussion. So it was uh, quite a program. Well, that sounded like yeah. it was a big event. It was a big uh, event. Who else was on the dedication program besides yourself? Um, uh, David Fuller, who was really responsible for the design of this instrument uh, and getting it here in the first place. Uh, Michael Burke, uh, Barbara Harbach, and myself. So. It David Fuller was one you said responsible for this instrument. Yes. Fisk is certainly well known for concert hall organs, but at the right. time they, they weren't. No, this is one of the first. This is one of the first yep. ones as prototypes of other uh, university halls and symphony halls. So yeah. this is really, really neat to see uh, what it is. So um, we'll look around at the mechanics and stuff later, but for now I want to sure. hear some of these stops. Um, let's just start with the, uh, the grate, which like many Fisks is down here on the bottom sure. manual. Um, let's just start with the Right, principles. so it's French configuration right. and... Uh, Rich, warm, um, uh, eight foot principle uh, for this. Yeah. And with the addition of the four foot principle. Right, and the two foot. Uh, two and two thirds. a mixture, 16, there's also uh, the, the tears uh, in there as a principle, so it's a, a seven, uh, 17th. <laughs> the full principal course. Yeah, that's a big course. It's all right here above <laughs> our heads. Um, so right. it kind of feels in our face right here, but it's actually, it blends very well and it, yep. it, it makes a nice color. I want to hear it by itself just because of some other Fisk experiences. The 16 foot, um, yep. just to hear it, and that's out here in the facade. Yeah. Nice, clean. Uh, yeah, they're very, they're they're good full round sound, yeah. but they're not right. loud and they're not, no. they're not too heavy. So I always like the, the right. way they voice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do we have in the grate? Uh, so there's a violoncello, um, and it's nice for soloing, nice for soloing out things in, in the tenor register. So. Uh, there's a harmonic flute, uh, Spielfeife, four foot which is, is very nice on, it, on its own. Uh, but combines with the eight foot beautifully. And then some reeds, a German trumpet, uh, a French trumpet with a four foot clairon. And you can use the German with the French, if you like. Yeah, it's really powerful. It's <laughs> Again, quite it's, nice. it's yeah. right here over our heads, but yeah. it's quite a battery of reeds you've got there. Yeah. Very, very colorful. All right. And then that's all of the grades. That's the whole grade. All right, so we move up next to the positive division. Okay. And those knobs are just uh, below. So the... Um, lower end of the eight foot principle. With the four foot. With the two foot.
with the sharf. Um, that's the, the principal well, that's chorus there, all very, of it. Very bright. But it, not and it makes a good uh, French plongeur, yeah. right? And with, with the addition of the 16 foot board and underneath that, also very good. Uh, and uh, put a eight foot reed in the pedal underneath that for the chant, and, yeah. and you've got just the, the ideal sound <laughs> for. Uh, yeah, it's a bright, or uh, or uh, something. A bright chorus there. Yep. It's over there on the side to, to our right as we're sitting here, and uh, it, it's a little smaller than the than the great though. So a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's good, a nice good contrast. And and uh, on that same rung there is the uh, crumb horn, which again very French and beautiful in the tenor register. Very, very yeah. nice French character with a lot of body to it. Yeah. Quite different from a German one, I think. Very big. And we, we have some prepared knobs on this organ as well, correct? That's yeah. right. There's a trek to regal on okay. the positive, which <laughs> the will, not, will not budge. <laughs> maybe someday. <laughs> uh, maybe someday. <laughs> uh, there's also one on the swell, um, uh, flute à cheminée. Okay. Uh, so there were some plans maybe to, yep. to expand this at yep. some point. Okay. Well, let's come over here to this side. We have our swell and pedal mm -hmm. on this side of the the console, what, uh, where do we want to start here? Well, there is no principle on the swell division. It, there's basically a, a chorus of three uh, flue stops. Eight, four, and two. Let's hear that eight uh, by itself. Lovely yeah, open yeah, flute yeah. there. And the, f the forefoot functions very nicely by itself, too. Right. Yeah, lovely flutes in this mm -hmm. organ. Very, very beautiful. Okay. We have some strings. Some strings. Uh, the gamba by itself. Right, and with the celeste. Pretty broader string than the great mm -hmm. uh, gamba over there, so quite a bit. All right, and then we go to our reeds and a beautiful oboe. If, if you add the tremulant uh, onto that. Uh, the Vox Humana, which um, by its by itself is is uh, well, all right. With with the tremulant on, it's it's not going to be quite one of those French ones, <laughs> with the very rapid uh, with the very rapid tremulant on it. But uh, without the tremulant, it makes a very good regal. Indeed, yeah. And this, just for pointing out, the tre the tremulant control is actually on a toe spoon down there. Uh, it's yeah. Pitch down. Right. Uh, foot control. So, so th this one is. Uh, I I've just left the tremulant on, but shut off the stable. Uh, put on the stable wind. So when the wind stabilizer is on, the tremulant's not going to oh, function. It's going to defeat itself. So uh, yeah, that's right. So another you take that off if you. Yeah. Another feature of this organ is you can you can destabilize the wind exactly. a bit and, and give us a, a little more baroque feeling in the, right. in the full organ. All right. Well, uh, what's next? Sixteen foot bassoon. Yeah. Very very nice uh, rumble down there. Trumpets. And uh, there's a, a five rank cornet on here. Combines with the reed. That's very, very nicely. big, bold cornet there. Mm. <laughs> mounted up front. Well, I think nice. I think one of the the unusual features of this instrument is that there's there's a cornet on, on each mm. each manual. Yeah. Right, uh, the the one on the swell, all all under one stop, and then uh, you can compose it on the positif. Uh, on the great, uh, rather huge one. I think I like the swell one the best, though. I don't know why. 
it's just it's <laughs> because yeah. it's one stop and it's meant to make that sound and, <laughs> and no other yeah. so uh, it really works well well we do have some independent ranks in the pedal being this yep. is a mechanical action organ and we don't have any borrows so uh, tell me what we've got in the pedal division well uh, let's start with the principal chorus the 16 foot preston this one is actually uh, from the grade okay it's the same right um, with the addition of the eight of the four. A mixture. Uh, Borden's 16 and 8. Uh, sorry, uh, 32. And then a uh, bevy of reeds, there's uh, the posona, which up here sounds really pretty huge, mm -hmm. but in the hall it uh, really tames down. And then with its 32. A pair of French bombards at eight foot. Those are enormous. Those are big. And, and everything, all the pedal is right down here on the same level it we is, are. Yeah, so it really yeah. shakes this it whole does. platform. It's great. The whole organ. Yeah. <laughs> With all Get those bass. 32s on. You can really <laughs> feel the rumble on the bench. Getting to the pipes here of Opus 95 is fairly straightforward. Uh, we start by going behind the console, and the uh, first thing we see are pipes of the pedal division. This is the treble of the reed and of the borden behind it, all against the back wall of the concert hall. From here we find a ladder that takes us up to the level of the grate. You also see the low ends of the pedal here. And through this door we find our way into the pipes of the Great Division. The chest is divided, so there's pipes on either side of the console. And interesting, we have actually some of the low ends of the reeds from the positive below that come up through the floor of the grate. This style of reeds have very long tuning wires, so you're not tuning down by the boot itself, but up above the top of the reed. And here's the stop action coming up from the console below. This is for the swell. So we go under that and we're on the other side of the grate. Some tuning instructions there. Uh, written on the wall. And I believe this is actually the 16-foot Borden from the Positive Division that's housed up here. We can see down to the Positive below us. Back under we go and out the door we came in. Now we're back out on the walkboard behind the grate and we go up and that takes us up to the level of the swell. Oop, 
open this door here, and it actually just uh, gives us access to the low ends of the reeds for tuning. Actually not entirely sure what to do if you need to get in there. Oh, more tuning instructions. Now the Fisk swell mechanism is very interesting. Here we can see it up close. When you open it just slightly, the first two shades are the only ones that are activated. So they open first and then the rest of the shades follow. So you get a very tiny opening at the beginning and then the same thing happens in reverse as it closes. Just those last two shades close. And there are, I should add, shades on all three sides of the box uh, here. The back is solid. There's a look down at the pedals on that side. Our 32 foot reed. Going almost all the way up to the ceiling. Here we are looking at the swell box again. There are some tuning panels there at the bottom and another door that mirrors the other one. Again, just gives you access to the reeds. I'm not really sh entirely sure how we get in any further. We needed to get to any of the other ranks. So now, turning around, behind us is a opening here, and we're looking down onto the grate. These are access panels here at the top, so you can reach uh, the reeds if you need to. The facade pipes. Supposed to be accessed through here. Second door here. Getting to see a lot of the grate. And from here we can go down and we see the regulator here with some extra um, equipment that I assume has to do with the tremolo and the uh, stable wind controls. We're back down on that level and can see out into the hall around the side of the case. And there's one more door here that gives us yet another peek into the grate. Now we're back down by the pedals behind the console, and this is where the positive entrance is. There's a memory system for the combination action. And here's the positive reeds. You can see the boots of this reed have had to have some extensions added on to make them uh, function properly. It's sometimes a solution when things aren't quite working the way they thought they would on site. And there is an access panel that Let's us get to the other side so we can reach everything. It's just right next to it. Those are the reeds that go up into the grates that we saw earlier. There's our 32 foot wardens here at the back wall. You see some tools on the floor. This is uh, Devin Zimmer, who was on site that day. He's a technician for the University of Buffalo and was actually fixing a small issue we had in the chest before recording started. So thank you to Devin. So we turn on the organ here right behind the console. And looking inside a fist console is something worthwhile. Very interesting to see. First of all, the 
you know, property tag there to make sure nobody steals the organ. But here's all of the stop action going back. And then this is the, some people call it a Barker machine. This is a Kowalshan machine named after their man that invented it. Mr. Barker didn't have anything to do with this style, but it uh, is, provides the assist, pneumatic assist, so that the keys aren't too heavy when they're all coupled together. See the trackers coming up and then in through that machine and then here's the stop action. Very complicated in order to make it uh, bend and twist all the ways it needs to. Now it does have a combination action and these are the sliders that will push and pull the very heavy stop action as needed. Here it is in action. It's moving the arm that moves the knob and then also moves the rest of the stop action going back to the wind chest. Here's a close look at the console controls for the pneumatic assist machine. Turn it on or off as needed and you can also turn the grate off so that you can play the positive or the swell through the machine by coupling them to the grate. So you can use the pneumatic assist on all the manuals even though it really only connected to the grate. I like how they've hidden the control panel back here very cleverly and then we can also see there's a mirror in case you're playing with an orchestra and a conductor also hidden away. So thank you, Roland, for this uh, wonderful tour of C.B. Fisk's Opus 95 here in Slee Hall at the University of Buffalo. My pleasure. Um, it's been wonderful to hear this, this landmark instrument that led to so many more uh, great concert halls like this one. There is a link to the specification of this organ down in the description of the video, as well as a link to the C.B. Fisk website. C.B. Fisk is a member of APOPA, the Associated Pipe Organ Builders of America. They help us make videos like this and bring them to you. So if you're looking to have some organ work done, uh, looking for a new organ, upgrading your old one, we recommend APOPA member builders. You can find a list of all of them by going to APOPA's website at apoba.com. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. We might still have some more things coming out. Thank you for joining us on our trip to Western New York and Buffalo. I've had a great time meeting these wonderful organists and organs like this one. Uh, we'll have plenty more coming out soon, so make sure you stay tuned. For now, for streaming classical organ music 24 hours a day, visit our three streaming stations, organlive.com, Positively Baroque, and The Organ Experience. Thank you again, Roland. Uh, I'm Brent Johnson. We'll talk to you next time.